How's it going everyone? It's Sam. They need to buy more Bitcoin. I have the numbers to back it up. There's going to be a lot of Bitcoin bought and there's going to be a short squeeze soon. The price of Bitcoin is going to skyrocket. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know the exact date, but I know it's going to wipe out a lot of shorts and we're going to have an explosive move. The question is just how much and how soon. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. If this is your first video watching me, hit subscribe. We're going to be back in my normal studio here soon. We're at the Token 2049 event, so working with some different uh, equipment here today. But let's take a look at it. Before we start, though, there is going to be a link underneath the video to Margex where you can trade cryptocurrency using leverage. There's also a link to CoinW. Now, I'm working on a couple things with CoinW as well, but right now you can actually get access to this private Telegram group where they have pro traders. I met some of the pro traders yesterday. Pretty smart guys, uh, but you can get these pro trading charts that show you different chart patterns every single day. They also have market updates. They have support. So if you have any questions, literally you can reach out in just a few seconds. There's also trading education. There's a general chat, there's signals. There's a lot of stuff that you can do within this group. And if you sign up using my link, you get free access to this group. And you can also trade cryptocurrencies on CoinW. It's one of the, I think the fastest growing exchanges out there. You can trade futures. You can also trade spot. So definitely check out the link to this underneath the video as well to the link, uh, as well as the link to Margex. Now, let's take a look at what's happening in the crypto market. Just recently, funding rate turned negative as Bitcoin dropped below 64,000. So let's take a look. This was from about four days ago, five days ago. Where were we at that time? Well, Bitcoin was hitting about $60,000. What does this mean? Well, when the funding rate goes negative, shorts are actually paying longs to keep the short positions open. That's it in a nutshell. So people are very bearish. Now, what actually happened? We moved up. What's that tell you? The market usually moves to counteract the most traders, right? When the market gets overly bullish, everyone's going super high leverage long, the market usually falls down. When the opposite is the case, when everyone wants to go short, that's when the market typically moves up. The thing is though, we do know that there are a lot of people that are gonna get wiped out when Bitcoin moves up. One billion worth of Bitcoin shorts are about to be slaughtered at 73K at that specific level. This is really interesting. Okay, if we know a lot of people are going to lose money at that level, typically we move up to that level. So that mixed with the fact that so many people were bearish recently makes me think that we could move, continue to move back up to the upside. Now I have opened some longs on Bitcoin on some other altcoins as well uh, as we were down at the bottom here. I think this is going to do quite well. And when you consider what we typically do after the halving, if you can stomach the volatility, if you can just not get wiped out, right? We typically have really good returns. As you can see here in the 2012 halving, 8,000%. 2017 halving, 3,000%. 2020 halving, 800%. What happens next? We probably move significantly to the upside. If we just continue this pattern, maybe we see 300%. Right? Maybe we see 200%. That's still well into the six figures. And when you consider this, uh, a lot of people want their wealth to be in Bitcoin. There are a variety of reasons for this. Let me just make sure this is still recording. Okay. There are a variety of reasons why people want their wealth in Bitcoin. And I talked about this the other day, like end game. What kind of asset do you want to hold? You want to hold on to one that's volatile, that uh, has high price appreciation. Yeah, that's probably a good thing. Of course, you want the volatility to decrease over time, but volatility is kind of the cost of having an asset that appreciates a lot. You also want an asset that doesn't have a lot of risks in the sense of like their business being uh, being destroyed. They want uh, they need a very deep moat, right? You don't want some company that's making I don't know um, a mouse, right? and they're trying to compete against 10 other companies that are making mouses, right? They have to do heavy marketing. 
you want a company that's got a really deep moat that can't be pushed to the side. They don't have a CEO that can go on a bender and then uh, announce some terrible thing or just isn't doing their job right. You want something that has price appreciation, but also is very, very consistent. Wall Street loves consistency. They want companies that continue to grow significantly and consistently. Bitcoin grows in adoption, grows in price significantly, and there's no central entity that can derail it, right? There's code and that's it. So of course you can have people buying and selling and talking about the asset and causing FUD and causing FOMO, but Bitcoin is what it is. So it is an interesting asset and you can take it wherever you want, right? You can send it across the world in seconds. So there are a lot of reasons to have it. Now, a lot of people want a significant allocation to Bitcoin. BlackRock says anywhere between one and 3% is what they're telling clients. I've also seen some people say, no, you want more like 10, 20, 30%. BlackRock has even put out research papers saying that maybe the optimal allocation is 85%. This is the fact though. Right in 2022, the Global wealth was about $454 trillion. Okay, of course we can't calculate it exactly, but let's say that's about what global wealth was three years ago. So that means Bitcoin's market cap, market cap right now, $1.28 trillion. Okay, so that is actually about 0.2% maybe of global wealth right now. The price is $65,000. Global wealth, let's say it went up about 10% a year for the last two years. When you consider like property values and stocks uh, and other assets just in general, let's say they appreciate by 10%. Of course, some things don't appreciate by 10%, but governments are printing 10% plus each year. So let's say global wealth went up to $550 trillion. If by 2025, during this bull run, we want Bitcoin, or we think Bitcoin is gonna go up to 1% of global wealth. So people keep on putting money into Bitcoin, it grows to be 1% of their portfolios. Global wealth will continue to rise, again, one more year by about 10%. Bitcoin's market cap would have to be around $6 trillion. Now that is about half that of gold, actually a little bit less than that now. So what if people are calling for Bitcoin to hit half of gold's market cap, and that comes a little bit short of that. That's typically what happens. People say we're going to hit 100K, and then we hit 70K and 700K. So let's say we hit $6 trillion in market cap. That would put Bitcoin's price right around $300,000. I'd say 5X from here. I'm not saying that's going to be easy, but if that happens and you are long on Bitcoin, whether you time it at the bottom and time it on a 20X or 50X or 100X, right? I know some people that actually did that with Bitcoin in the $20,000 range. They actually had like $40 and they went 200X long. They checked back months later and that position is still open. So there are times where you could do that, right? That's much more risky going on that high leverage. But even if you just go lower leverage, let's say you go 5X, right? 5X with a 5X in the price of Bitcoin, well, you're going to be sitting on a 25x. How much do you think the altcoins are going to go up? How many shorts are going to get liquidated and add fuel to the fire here? How many shorts do you think were liquidated on our run up? A lot, a lot of shorts. So of course we can have more volatility. We could always fall down too. We could shake out some of the longs. Maybe go back to this fifty thousand dollar mark, fifty two. I don't think that's super likely, but it's definitely possible maybe a 25 to 30 percent chance of that happening but it will be interesting as time goes on you know we are probably gonna have to buy more bitcoin and i say we as a global population right keep in mind if someone let's say if everyone puts in some money into bitcoin you don't have to put in five trillion dollars for the market cap to go up five trillion dollars there's a multiplier effect so typically, depending on liquidity, depending on the sellers stuff, usually it's between 20 and 100. So for the market cap of Bitcoin to go up $5 trillion, maybe we're only looking at, if I'm doing my math right, $250 billion worth of inflows. 
It depends on how spaced out it is. Depends on how like or how uh, willing people are to sell their Bitcoin. But it's definitely possible. Let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Do you think we are going to go up significantly? I think people realize that they need more Bitcoin. And as that goes on, as they continue to buy during this bull market, you know, keep in mind we usually move up during the bull market. As that continues to go on, more and more people will get liquidated. More and more people will also want to go short. Right? A lot of people will want to go short when Bitcoin's at 100K. And maybe it pushes down the market, but maybe it breaks right through. Kills all those people <laughs> that went short. And then people say, well, Bitcoin shouldn't be at 120. We're definitely going back down to retest 100. Maybe we do. We hit 100, bounce off of it as support, continue to move up, wipe out a lot of shorts again. That's going to continue to happen. This asset is exponential. We are sitting right at previous all-time highs, previous market all-time highs, or previous bull market all-time highs, which is quite bullish, even though we're just barely starting this market cycle. Let me know your thoughts, though, underneath the video. Again, you can check out the link to CoinW in case you want to start trading here today. And to Marjex, I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.